approach over still there are more approaches section la ela istharu error message okay adi visibility condition padtaru all covered resolved means don't display otherwise display it okay that is okay but it's not about error message display part how do you stay on the same screen how the work of it is going to stay the, okay these solutions are fine you don't know about tickets you can watch the video if you want to learn that is deprecated anyhow now see here this is the one my requirement i am little bit changing now so far requirements okay you have given solutions acceptable after you submit insurance details if there are open child cases still it should not go to transaction information or it should not even be there on insurance details it should be there in between somewhere waiting that is a requirement understand the requirement so after you click on insurance details submit then then the case should not go to next screen unless all covered resolved neither it should go to next screen nor it should be there on the current screen it should be there in between wait it for that there is a solution that is wait shape according to me sorry automation shapes somewhere at the bottom it is there wait shape okay i'll explain you wait shape now if you want a work object to be waiting if you if you want a work object to be waiting i am going to give the explanation for the wait shape listen to me carefully if you want a work object to be waiting during a transaction model then you are going to use a flow shape called wait wait can be done based on what is that you see by default on the wait shape what is that symbol clock what does what does it mean wait can be done by using by um, by the way uh, wait can be done by oh, okay time. By, time. by time by time so if you double click on wait shape you can you have an option called timer you have an option called timer is nothing but sla as you are saying it's a kind of sla even this weight shape you have right okay i'll i'll tell you about more about it look at here timer okay timer and you choose number of days hours minutes years months weeks so oh, too much years also there okay so requirement is like this uh, a transaction has been initiated automatically today okay so a transaction has been created after certain task is been done i want the transaction to be waiting for a day okay without any action to be done by anyone and automatically after one day it should get released to move forward so how do i achieve this by using wait shape and you are going to give number of days here one day that's it if you want to if you want it to wait for one year then you can give number of years one year see this type of requirements are little bit pretty less otherwise you'll see see you want to put something on 10 days waiting some file then you are going to mention use this wait shape and make it 10 days every time other than this you have other option see it can be dynamic it is hard coded right if you are going to use a date time property dynamic if condition a is equal to 10 a value of a is equal to 10 it has to wait for 10 days a is equal to 15 it has to wait for 15 days from the current day then how do you achieve you have a date time property here in the pre processing before it comes here before it comes to the screen somewhere before you are going to call an activity decision table and then return the value of this property and that property you use here like sla also we discussed the same third one you see case dependency the main option i'll discuss wait for all child cases to get resolved what does it mean so i am going to use wait shape where i have chosen case dependency wait for all child cases to be resolved submit parent case when it reaches here it will be there on this particular shape till all child cases gets resolved so how does the system knows all child cases gets resolved or not all covered resolved the value of all covered resolved when it becomes zero then immediately parent case will get released to proceed forward understand and now what is the internal mechanism of this the value of all covered resolved is equal to zero once that is been zero 
then it has to move forward means and some action is being done automatically correct internally which declarative rule would have been used for this what is the declarative rule that would have been used declare on change declare on change okay and if you go to this weight shape this way so when work object reaches here what would happen in the background look at here so in the background you go to advanced weight options what is that you see assigned to work basket and there is a work basket name what is the harness perform harness is, is there any service level agreement yes or no service level agreement is also there understand so what is this now these options are also available on some other flow sheet what was that flow sheet assigning to work basket or work list harness perform harness and service level agreement these options were also there on some other flow sheet what was that which flow sheet assignment shape that was assignment shape so weight shape is just a copy of assignment shape with a little bit of modifications that's it weight shape is just a copy of assignment shape with little bit of modifications of automatically moving to next level based on what is it uh, child case dependency or time these two options are not there in assignment shape remaining every other option is there it is exactly a copy of assignment shape there is nothing new except it is there with timer plus child case dependency and when the work object is there at weight shape the work object weight shape is also assignment an assignment will get created and it will be getting stored into a table called what is the table work basket table pc assign work basket table the basket name is default at thread pega.com what is the basket name so work object reaching assign weight shape means it has created one assignment routed to work basket the work basket name is default at thread pega.com that means it will be there will be a record in the table what is the table pc assign work basket table that's it everyone clear and now see here if i want access to this basket how can i get it I, i'm an operator by default i have a work group called work group one i have another basket basket one so no operators have this basket access but i want this basket access to be given to only one operator so the, i have five work groups each work group has five five operators and i want to give access to this basket to one of the operator in group one how can i achieve it what is the relation between operator and work basket operator to operator to work basket relation end what is the relation between work basket operator and work basket using work group using work group so work group. operator work group work basket so in a work group if you have five operators all five will access the basket right i want only one of them to be able to access it how do i achieve it open the work basket for your information as an interview question okay open the work basket i think this is not there in any of the documents so far in the work basket if you scroll down you see addition actually it was additional context now they change it to context this is additional context means here you can choose one operator id if you give operator 1 this operator 1 will get access to this basket other operators of this operator related work group will not get so if you want dedicatedly to only one of the operator if you wanted to give work basket uh, access then you have to go to basket and directly give the operator name there operator id value see i have five work groups each work group has five five operators five work basket each group connected sorry each group connected to five different work baskets my requirement is like this from each work group one one operator should get access to one of the work basket called work basket 6 that is work basket 6 that should be accessible to operator 1 of work group 1 operator 1 of work group 2 operator 1 of work group 3 means each work group one one operator should get access to the sixth basket how to achieve this open the sixth basket in the additional context you add all those contexts understand this could be an interview question if your interviewer knows about this option okay 
so this is about uh, weight shape okay this can be used when in case if you want a case should be waiting certain time or all covered result that is the importance of knowing about px covered count open okay